Hi folks, with a new Copernicus puzzle out soon, we thought you might like to see how the Ramesses puzzle is taken apart. There are 20 components in the puzzle and we often get asked how it uh, all works, so here goes. Firstly we're going to take the key chamber out. Obviously you need to unlock the puzzle before this can happen. Uh, normally that would hold the key. As you can see the blue light inside, just temporarily there, and we have to unlock the locking pin. Take the base off the top sections and then we have to take the inner sections away from the outer layers. This is what these are the components that allow the um, internal mechanisms to rotate. There are two internals and three, four layers, uh, including the base layer of course. Um, and then we have to then move the locking pin across and undo the one bolt that holds the internal mechanism to the base plate. We undo that the internal rotating disc holds another part which has got a, an o-ring on it. You can now see the board and you can see the uh, locking pin and uh, that's the electronic board. This is it, put it back together again. Turn the first disc goes in, then the allen bolt. You have to move the locking pin over, make sure everything's sitting square. <coughs> then have to move the locking plate across again so we can get the central pin to sit in place. Now put the top layer on. That's held together with the second layer internal mechanism. Next layer. Next disc, and then we have a small bearing that goes inside. That has to be then lined up with the base plate. Locking pin across, that will allow the key chamber to go in, and the key chamber in, and there you have it. Mm -hmm.